Libra, welcome to your July 1st through the 15th tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings. Uh, so let's get started on your reading. What is the central theme of Libra's reading today? What is the central theme of Libra's reading today? One card to the central theme of Libra's. Okay. So I have three cards here. I have a woman holding your heart. So this is someone that you truly love. It could be a wife, a daughter, a mother, uh, some family member. So this is someone who holds your heart. Rest and rejuvenation is another theme of your reading today. Taking time to meditate. Think things through. And releasing envy. Not being envious of things. Um, getting your own. Seeing that no one can actually compete with you. One more another card came out I have a journey so you could be going on a trip a vacation um, you're going on some sort of journey and you're learning lessons along the way you're leaving the past behind you and traveling to a new future but you're still looking at the lessons from the past What is on Libra's mind? July 1st through the 15th. Three cards for what's on Libra's mind. Okay, so I have the sun, two of swords reversed, one more card for what's on Libra's mind, and temperance reversed. So I have a Leo, I have Libra, that would be your energy and then I have Sagittarius. I have a Leo and a Sagittarius in between you. So it could be between two people. It could be between a Leo and a Sagittarius um, and both are major life events and the Sagittarius is upside down so it would be a Sagittarius in her negative because every sign has positive and negative aspects to the sign. So Sagittarius's positive aspects are she's outgo or he or she would be outgoing, optimistic. In the reverse, she's blunt, outspoken, um, impatient, temperamental. And Leo's in the upright, so that'd be loving, loyal, faithful. All right. So um, the Sun is a major arcana card. It is number 19 out of 21 so it's close to the end of the cycle when the sun comes out mentally a new day has risen for you so mentally a new day has risen for you it sheds light on things so the sun sheds light on things the sun is happiness so mentally you're happy successful achievement celebration rewards the dark days are over and you just have a new day a brand new day the night has gone the sun has risen it's a new day you're living in the moment there's self-esteem here creativity self-expression absolute joy if it comes to travel then yes you should travel especially with the journey card here that's a good travel omen so if you want to travel travel you only live once. What are you waiting for? You want to go to Las Vegas? Go to Las Vegas. Alright, so uh, this is strength. This is absolute strength. Again, it is that Leo energy. It's fire energy. So it's ambition. It's energy. Pure energy. It's uh, dynamic. It's I will. I will energy. And then I have the Two of Swords in the reverse. So this is confusion. 
This is information overload and being indecisive. This is a headache. This is having migraines, turning a blind eye, being in denial, refusing to take sides here, painful decisions. This is your energy. This is Libra energy. This is I balance. But this is you and your negative. This is you being indecisive, you being impartial. Um, you sitting on the fence, not taking sides. And then we have Sagittarius in reverse. Or, I'm sorry, Temperance in reverse. <laughs> this is the card of Sagittarius. So this is Temperance in reverse. So when Temperance reverses, there's inappropriate behavior, wrong actions, imbalances, poor timing, not learning lessons, being overindulgent, excessive behavior, instigating fights, resisting moving on, a need for counseling. In the upright, temperance is the calm after the storm, a time of rebalancing. In the reverse, it's not. So we have two fire cards, and then in the center we have an air card, which would be you. So air is the winds of change. Things are changing. There's motion here. There's action. There's excitement. There's action, ambition, aggression, energy, pure, raw energy. There's passion here, massive amounts of passion. And I do see a choice, and it could be a choice between two people that you have on your mind, a Leo and a Sagittarius. It definitely could be. Or it could just be that energy. And I do have a woman holding your heart. So this is a relationship reading. And the best way to make up your mind is to meditate on it. Don't be envious of anybody. They don't have anything on you. And if you need to travel, travel. Go for a retreat. Okay, so what's going on in Libra's family and home life? Okay. Four cards came out. They just like, just had no, no real say over that. They just kind of popped right out. Okay, so... The first one we have is the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is Earth energy. Earth is very practical. It's grounded. It's people that you can count on. It's slow and steady. It's stubborn. It, it hates change. Um, so this is Capricorn specifically energy. This is I achieve. This is a very conservative energy. And it's in the reverse. So. There is disorganization. Uh, financially, you could be in disarray. Or your relationships are in disarray. You're, you're balancing, you're juggling. Uh, you could be juggling two people, especially with the two of swords up here. So I'm, I'm seeing a pattern here with twos. So there's choices and there's um, juggling. So that you could possibly have multiple people that you're talking to or in a relationship with or that's just in your family because this is family and home life so there's multiple people in your family that you're trying to balance and you're trying to balance your work with your family it's all about juggling and balancing all right and then i have the ten of cups and it's in the upright so this is like the best family card to get this is the happy family. Look how happy that is. It's just like this rainbow of happiness. <laughs> you can, it's joy, absolute joy, especially with the sun card. So you're just like really happy right now. I'm seeing you being really super happy right now. Just like, this is marriage. This is the fairy tale. This is family blessings, domestic bliss, emotionally successful outcome. So yeah, with the sun card, oh my god, you're so happy. Ace of Pentacles, there's potential for financial success here, abundance, 
saving for the future, investment, setting long-term goals in your relationship and in your money and in your career and in your family. So you're you're set. There's there's like just explosive potential here. This is starting a new diet, a new workout regimen. I'm seeing so much happiness. And then I have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So the Seven of Cups is temptation. So there's temptation, and this could be temptation for sex, temptation for alcohol, temptation for drugs, temptation for um, for addictions that you may have conquered in the past. There's definitely temptation here. But I see you juggling things, but you're really, your family life is super happy and it's reflecting in your thought patterns and there's explosive potential here what's going on in Libra's romantic and social life what's going on in Libra's romantic and social oh and uh, in terms of signs I have Capricorn I have Pisces I have any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and then I have Scorpio. So in terms of your family and home, I have earth and water energy. Um, so earth energy is just grounded. It's supportive. It hates change. It's habit. It's routine. Um, it's people that you can count on. It doesn't take risks. And then water is emotional, nurturing, nostalgic. Um, intuitive, romantic, sensitive. So that's what's going on in your family and home life. In your head, you're in your energy. You're in your action, ideas, motion, uh, communication. You're in ambition, aggression, energy, strength. You're inspired. You get things done. So what's going on in Libra's romantic and social life? Three cards for Libra's romantic and social life. So I have the Empress reversed. Two more cards for Libra's. I have the Page of Swords reversed and the Cherry of Right. So in terms of uh, signs or energies that's bringing in, because it's not necessarily talking about the, a person with that sign, or it could, it could. If it fits, it fits. Um, but the Empress I always see as Virgo. It doesn't specifically have a sign. Uh, a lot of people see it as Taurus. It's Earth energy and it's ruled by Venus. It could actually be Libra because Libra is also ruled by Venus. It's the only sign that is ruled by Venus. So this could definitely be talking about you, the Empress. And this is in the reverse. In the upright, this is a domestic goddess. In the reverse, it's lack of growth being unproductive, there's a lack of stability, lack of development, just not the right time. Um, there could be affairs here, immaturity, manipulation, weight gain. I have the Page of Swords, and the Page of Swords could be any air energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Um, the pages begin things, they're the students. They're, they're just developing a sense of self. They're striving to be the king. They have to be the page first, then the knight, then the queen, then they can be the king. So they always have to, you have to start somewhere. They're the students. Um, with the page of swords reverses, we have um, malicious gossip, uh, blaming, being vindictive, being rude, cold arguments. This could be someone spying on you romantically or socially, um, slander, backstabbing, being paranoid, nothing good to say, psychological mental abuse. So that's not good. Who are you friends with? <laughs> Who are you friends with? And this, and this isn't good. All right, and then I have a cancer here. We have the cherry and the chariot upright. Uh, so this is cancer energy, this is water energy. So in terms of elements, there's a lot of 
Yeah, there's a lot of uh, conflict here. We have earth, and then we have air. And they just, they, they conflict with each other. There's, yeah, there's conflict here. There's change, and then there's stability. And then we have emotions. Very emotional. Cancers are very emotional. Moody. Cancers are manipulation. Cancers like to manipulate a lot. Fussy. But romantic. Sensitive. Sympathetic. Security focused. They have a hard shell. But they can be snappy. But they're kind. Insecure. But still like very vulnerable. Well, anyway, the, the chariot is gaining control over opposing forces, completion, control over your emotions. Beware, appearances can be deceiving when the chariot surfaces. It could be a powerful, successful man or woman. Somebody's hiding behind a mask. There's destiny here. Self-control, having self-control. Okay, three cards for advice for Libra. Three cards for advice for Libra. Three cards for advice for Libra. So I have the Three of Pentacles reversed. Four cards came out. The Nine of Pentacles upright the tower, and the high priestess. So the three of pentacles reverse. Uh, we're in Capricorn energy again. And this is a lack of teamwork. There's a lack of teamwork here in terms of your, fine, your uh, social and romantic life. The nine of pentacles in the upright is there's this potential of gaining the results of your hard work, driving ambition. Uh, you're free to enjoy a lavish lifestyle with this card. In a position to afford, to afford anything, this is public recognition and status. And that's there for you. But there's a lack of teamwork. I do see big changes coming. There's massive changes coming. Uh, it's unavoidable. It's secrets are going to be revealed, especially with the sun card. Secrets are coming out in your uh, romantic and social life. Big, huge secrets are coming out, and it's going to shake you. It's going to shake you to your core, but it needs to happen. It needs to happen. There's going to be a, like a mental overload, but it needs to happen. And then I have the High Priestess. And the High Priestess stands between two pillars, one marked B, one marked J. That stands for Boaz and Hakim, which symbolize strength and unity. Um, she's, she sits holding the Torah, which is the secrets of the subconscious mind. So she holds, she holds all the secrets of the subconscious mind. She stands on the moon, meaning she's in full control of her emotions. She's a Pisces. Um, so she's a subconscious. She's the higher self. Deep feelings. Understanding intuition. She's with a drawing. She's space. She's time alone. She's calm. She's peace. She follows her own path. She's insight. She's intuition itself. She's inner wisdom. Secrets. So again, we have secrets. Secret, secret, secret. There's secrets here. Someone's keeping a secret from you, Libra. And it's coming out. It's coming out. You need to go deeper for answers here. Everything's not obvious at first glance, especially with the chariot. It's not it's something something's being hidden from you. And you know inwardly. You know, and that's why I'm gonna name this. I need to write that down before I forget. It's 
secrets are coming out, Libra. Hold on. on in Libra's, with Libra's money. What's going on with Libra's money? All right, so I have the five of wands. There's a lot of competition here, a lot of controversy. What else is going on with Libra's money? I'm not getting all those. Let me see. It's like a whole book. What's going on with Libra's money? Two more cards for Libra's money, please. All right, three of swords, heartbreak. Take that one. Page of Wands reversed and Justice reversed. So I have the Five of Wands here. So this is all about competition, conflict. Okay, and then I have the Three of Swords. Three is a crowd. Um, heartbreak, loss, deep sadness, trauma. Uh, vicious arguments. There could be a divorce or a love triangle. A, a past divorce. Because right now you're happy. Your whole life's happy. So I don't think you see a divorce right now. Then I have the page of wands in the reverse. So this is making excuses, never ready for anything, fearing change, fear of travel, lack of ambition, bad news, setbacks, um, spoiled, overindulgence, foolish risks, uh, terribly unreliable. And then I have justice in the reverse. Um, so if it has to do with a legal matter, it's not going to go in your favor point blank period. Uh, if there's lawsuits, it's going to be unequal. It's going against you, imbalances. You feel victimized with this card. You blame others. Especially with this card, this is blaming others. So you're blaming other people here. Crooked, corruption. So in terms of your money, I don't see it good. <coughs> There's massive competition over some sort of money, and you feel victimized. You feel heartbroken. You feel like it's unequal, and it is. It's unjust with the money. What's going on in terms of Libra's career? What's going on in terms of Libra's career? Three cards for Libra's career. Okay, so three of cups reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed, and the Knight of Swords reversed. So the Three of Cups, when it reverses, we have um, stifled creativity. We have a lack of community. There's um, no celebration here. Three is a crowd. Betrayal. have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is financial loss. Massive financial loss. And then I have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So this is mental confusion, clueless, being out of control, um, mental health issues. This could be temper tantrums, looking for a fight, uh, sudden arrivals and departures. Very honest though, very fast paced, making a getaway. This is telling you to get out quick. There's arguments, law, law enforcement here.
and this is saying you're heading into trouble. You're heading into trouble. This is Aquarius, Virgo, Cancer, Libra, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Libra, um, Leo, if you want to sign. So in terms of your career, the best way to avoid disaster would be to meditate. Um, would be to get out of anything that doesn't serve you. Don't be dishonest in your dealings, especially with the Knight of Swords. Don't be dishonest. Honesty is the best policy. There is competition here. That's going to help. Libra to get over this competition. Judgment, karma, the final outcome. Things are, this, these secrets are coming out and they're unable to hide it. And there's going to be accounting for action. And ultimately, July 1st through the 15th, it's not going in your favor, but ultimately it does. The final outcome is going to be in your favor. There's karma here. There's karma here. So you, there's nothing you can do about this to avoid disaster. There's going to be a sudden change. It does look like it's going to be between socially, I feel like it's socially and financially. There's a sudden, there's a sudden change. It looks like it has to do with friends. It's not family. Family is wonderful. Especially if you're with a Leo, it's beautiful. Your family life is beautiful with a Leo. It's with a Sagittarius, there's betrayal. There's definitely betrayal with the Sagittarius. There could actually be a divorce with the Sagittarius. In terms of career, so I have the four of wands. So long term, there this is temporary. This this controversy here, and there's a lot of conflict here in terms of your career, but it's temporary because I have the four of wands. There's long term stability here. Um, this is recognition. Um, a happy time, establishing roots, feeling balanced and secure. This is an Aries. So long term, I do see it being happy. Short term, there there's definitely some conflict. You might want to recognize people in terms of your career. Like, recognize them for doing a job well done. Because that's advice. And that avoids disaster. If you recognize people. Talk to people. How, how's your family doing? Be uh, charismatic. Get people to like you. Get people on your side. And that will lead to abundance. Use your intuition, and that's going to balance your skills. All right, Libra, thank you so much for joining me today. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you aren't already. I do do bi-monthly tarot readings. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.